Hi everybody, very welcome to Mentor and yet another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. So guys, very welcome to the office. I uh, have a couple of minutes here uh, just to show you a little bit around in the flight deck. And today on the podcast, we're going to talk about how do aircraft move around? How do we maneuver the 737? Do we use a steering wheel? Do we use uh, rudder pedals? What do we actually do? So stay tuned. Right guys, so how to maneuver an aircraft on the ground might sound obvious, but if you don't know how this actually works, it might come as a little bit of a surprise to you. Okay, first of all, when it comes to reversing the aircraft, you know, when you're in at the gate, uh, all the passengers are seated, everything is closed up and the aircraft starts moving backwards. Well, the aircraft cannot do that by itself. We have no kind of m uh, engines connected to our wheels. We only have our engines that are pushing us forward. And even though we have reverse thrust available, we're not allowed to use reverse thrust to actually reverse the aircraft, okay? So in order for us to move out and away from the gate, we have to connect something called a pushback truck. A pushback truck effectively just connects, either connects to the nose gear or actually lifts up the whole aircraft with the nose gear and then starts pushing the aircraft backwards. Obviously, we need to be in contact with our traffic control. We need to have clearance from the control tower before we start doing this. So normally, me and my uh, colleague, my first officer, would call for push and start clearance. When we've received that, I will be talking to, uh, to the ground controller, which is the person on the ground, who might be sitting in the pushback truck or walking next to the aircraft, so I'll be talking to them, asking them if everything is clear around the aircraft, so there's no one behind us, because obviously I can't see that, uh, that no one is moving around the engines. And if they confirm that, they will also confirm that all the doors and hatches are closed and all the external checks are complete. When they've done so, I am going to tell them that we've been clear push and start, that uh, the parking brake is set, which it is here, okay? It's not illuminated now because the simulator is in freeze, but I'll show you how to release it in a second. All right. Um, so when we've been cleared push and start, we will then be pushed back by that pushback truck that I was talking about before. And the, uh, the, the ground personnel is going to tell us when we can start engine number two and one. Now, if you want to see how to start the engines, I did a separate video on that. I'll link to it up here that you can see how we actually do when we start the engines. And also, if you want to see the whole procedure, if you go into the Mentor Aviation app and you get the collection full setup from dark to taxi, you will be able to see how we do all of this. But I'll show you a little bit about it now. Okay. Good. So now, in the position we are right now, we have already been pushed back. The engines are already operating. So from now on, it's about taxi the aircraft. Okay. Now, in order to taxi the aircraft, we can actually use the rudder pedals. Okay. The rudder pedals will give us about seven degrees of uh, nose wheel steering. So if we move the pedals like this, that will actually help us turn the aircraft. However, when we are taxiing on, a, um, on the apron like this or for lining up on the runway, we need to be able to be much more maneuverable. Okay. Uh, we need to be able to take much greater angles of turns. And the way we do that is by using this, okay? I'll show you here in a second. It's, a, it's what we call a tiller. If we move over here, you'll see what I speak about. So this one, this here is a tiller, okay? That one can be moved full left and full right. And this is essentially a steering wheel, okay? So what we're going to do now is we are going to, um, to start to taxi the aircraft a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. We'll see if we can get the camera standing in a good place. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get taxi clearance. So we will call air traffic control, uh, ask them if we can taxi. The air traffic control will say yes, taxi, and they will give us a specific taxi route. So we will be checking our plate. I'll show you an example of the plate here. 
we'll check the plate. Me and the first officer will discuss, make sure that we're both happy with how the taxi routing looks. So it's like straight ahead, first to the right, and then straight ahead a little bit more. And then we'll be following that taxi route in our plate as we taxi. It's really, really important, guys, that you do not taxi unless you're absolutely sure where you are. Because if you're in a complex airport, like we are right now in Dublin, you might be taxiing the wrong way and you might actually be accidentally uh, entering a runway and that could have potentially disastrous effects okay so it's really important that you do not taxi without being absolutely sure about your taxi clearance okay good now in order to start taxi we need to unfreeze this okay guys so in order to start taxiing the aircraft we need to start by releasing the parking brake Okay, so put myself into position here and what you do is you use the tip of your toes, the toe brakes, push them down, that then releases the parking brake and the, end, the aircraft is now without brakes. Okay, the next thing that we do is we're going to add thrust. Now in order to get breakaway thrust you need about 30-32% depending a little bit on uh, how heavy the aircraft is. But you know something around 30 33 up to a maximum of 40 percent you can see here the ground speed is now starting to move and in order to taxi i will be using my left hand and i'll just show you here how it looks as i'm turning my left hand the aircraft is turning like this and we're trying to follow these yellow lines that you can see here, okay? So we're following the yellow line here towards wherever we're going. If I want to brake, I'm using the tip of my toes to brake. As you can see, we're slowing down and obviously that is together with um, reducing thrust as well. So here we're coming up to a stand. And if I want to stop the aircraft, I should probably make this very obvious to you guys that I'm sitting in a simulator right now, so I'm not actually taxiing around uh, wildly in Dublin Airport. So if I want to stop now, once again, I press the toe brakes, put the parking brake on, and release. And the parking brake is set. Okay? I hope this all makes sense to you guys. Now, there's a couple of maximum speeds that we have to keep to. Uh, we have to keep uh, a maximum of 10 knots around the turns. If we're on a straight line off a runway, the maximum speed is 30 knots for us. And if we're backtracking a runway, we can go as fast as 50 knots. If we have contamination, so if it's snow or ice or anything on the apron, in that case, we limit our taxi speed to 5 knots, right, which is really, really slow. So once again, we have the tiller. We have the rudder pedals. We have the toe brakes on the rudder pedals. And that is pretty much how we do this. So if I want to taxi in away now, release the parking brake, add a little bit of thrust, not too much. Aircraft is starting to move. I overshoot the lines a little bit and what I mean by that is that the nose wheel is actually situating behind the cockpit, okay? So I have to drive past the line a little bit before I start turning, pretty much like driving a truck. And as you can see now, I'm coming up to the stand here, I'm aligning myself with the stand. It's the drawbridge coming up, slowing down, and normally we would have a marshaller here helping me to stop. And right about there should be okay. Trust is closed. Parking brake is set. Okay. Great guys, I hope you um, I hope you like this one. I hope that I will get access to a simulator more time so I can show you more stuff, more handling, takeoff, maybe failures, maybe how to use the autopilot and things like that. But until we do. Uh, I just want to wish you a fantastic day. 
I hope you're doing great wherever you are. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, on my Facebook page, and also get the Mentor Aviation app. It's completely free. There's loads of us in there in the forum, chatting away, talking to each other, helping each other out. It's a great gang, so join up you two. Go in there, I'll be there, I'll be answering questions and so on. And uh, have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye-bye.